big question here from some guy person. Looking at Richie's handheld coverage made, made me think about the Switch 2 and how that would compare against the plethora of handhelds in the market now. The one thing that stood out to me in the footage of all the handhelds was all the aliasing in the image because most games used FSR 2. Do you think the Switch 2 might have an image quality advantage over the other handhelds at a 15 watt TDP purely because it will support DLSS? Do you guys think that advancements in upscaling algorithms will make the DLSS advantage moot by the time we actually get the Switch 2 in hand. On a somewhat related note, would Alex put UE5's TSR above FSR2 but behind XESS in the upsc upscaling quality scale he made recently? Let's check out, well, let's see what Alex says about that last question. Mm -hmm. Alex? Uh, I haven't been playing with TSR recently, so I don't want to comment about its quality so much. So, uh, I've uh, I've heard a lot better things about it than FSR two with anecdotal, uh, you know, evidence that I read online. But once again, it's just not my personal look at it. But it wouldn't be surprising to me too much, so much so because unlike FSR two, which did not see almost any updates for like longer than a year TSR has been mm. going through like an iteration cycle for a long period of time the person who's working on it uh, has every version of UE has changed logs about it and the most recent one 5.4 also has some TSR improvements according to Epic so I mean I guess when the time comes I probably should look at them all together in one game package if they exist, but it would have to be a UE5 game at that point. Yeah, and it's really difficult to find a game that actually supports them all. I guess the last one was um, Tekken 8, which um, yeah. John did prefer TSR to FSR by quite a big margin on Steam Deck, but that's yeah. quite a radical use case for it. Yeah. Um, to go back to the sort of major point being asked by some guy person, um, TLS is, is great. Right, and um, if you look at the video I did on the T239 processor, that's almost certainly in Switch 2, and the RTX um, 20, was it 2050, I believe it was, um, where we used DLSS to upscale to 1080p for much lower resolutions. Performance mode 540p in turtle actually looked really fine, and it will look even better on mm. a handheld screen. So yeah. I do think DLSS will give it an advantage. Um, but ultimately, the key advantage of Switch 2 over all of these handhelds is you're going to be getting games that are designed specifically and explicitly for the Switch 2, not a PC port that's being dragged, kicking and screaming onto a much lower capability processor, which is basically the, the Steam Deck and Windows mm -hmm. handheld playbook. Um, this is it, yeah. Anything to add to that, Tom? Well, it, it is um, assuming it is targeting 1080p, which I think is very likely for the handheld screen. Mm. I think that would be a very realistic. Well, hopefully that's where the, it's going. Um, but also, Switch Two will, if it follows the template of the original console, double up as a docked console. And I would suspect it it is going to have a 4K support of some kind. It would surprise me if it's only 1080p at this point, given the the prevalence of TVs out there, which are only uh, 4K. So mm -hmm. uh, DLSS will play a part in that as well for the docked mode. Um, again, a lot of assumptions there, but I, I think it's fair to say if we're you know using a 540 base resolution for a 1080p portable mode version of the game, it might bump to 720p, say, for when the GPU clock is boosted for the docked mode. Let's just assume that a, mm. a few a few assumptions in there, but uh, 720p up to 4K would be a, a nice scale up. And, I, think uh, it's, I think it's unlikely because the computational cost of DLSS at 4K is astronomical on a tiny chipset. Mm. Um, viably, you could possibly have like a 30 FPS game going to 1440p with like a standard upscale to, right. to 4K. But uh, I think I, that's something that I did in my video, which with I used Death Stranding, you could actually use DLSS performance mode at 1440p and it ran at 30 and it looked pretty, pretty decent. Um, but yeah, I'd be really interested to see exactly how they're planning to support 4K, if they're planning to support 4K at all. Yeah. Because I think fundamentally with the Switch, 
you don't really need to specifically address resolutions. It's just got to kind of look okay on a 4K screen, which is what the current one spectacularly fails at in many yeah. games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was I still feel the priority for a lot of these Switch games is it's a portable game first anyway, and I think that's where things will go with the, the follow-up just mm-hmm. as much so. They're not competing to be a big screen experience. Uh, you know, it's really about taking it on the go. Uh, 